Imagine being locked in a maximum security prison, and your only hope for freedom lies in a set of handmade keys. This is the reality that Stephen Lee, a South African political activist, faced in the late 70s. In the heart of apartheid South Africa, Lee was imprisoned in Pretoria Central Prison for his anti-apartheid activism. But imprisonment did not break the spirit of this resolute activist. Instead, it birthed an audacious plan, a plan that would require meticulous strategizing, audacity, and an extraordinary amount of courage. Lee, in collaboration with fellow activists Tim Jenkin and Alex Mumbaris, devised a daring escape that would test the very limits of their ingenuity. The cornerstone of their plan? A set of handmade keys. Now this wasn't a matter of simply carving a few wooden trinkets. No, these keys represented the culmination of countless hours of careful observation, relentless trial and error, and a steadfast belief in their cause. These men, imprisoned but unbroken, studied the prison's locks with the precision of master locksmiths. They observed the guards, memorizing their routines and patterns. They crafted their keys from wood and other materials, painstakingly shaping them until they were perfect replicas of the prison's keys. Every detail mattered, for one misstep could mean the end of their quest for freedom. The day of the escape arrived. Hearts pounding with anticipation, Lee, Jenkin, and Mumbaris put their plan into action. Unlocking their cells, they navigated the labyrinthine prison complex, evading guards and security measures with a stealth that would rival the most seasoned spies. The tension was palpable, but their determination was unwavering, and against all expectations, they succeeded. They escaped the clutches of Pretoria Central Prison, a feat that many would have deemed impossible. Their triumph was not just a testament to their ingenuity and courage. It was a beacon of hope, a symbol of resistance that resonated far beyond the prison walls. The audacious escape of these three men was a powerful reminder that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable oppression, the human spirit can triumph. Against all odds, Stephen Lee, along with Tim Jenkin and Alex Mumbaris, managed to taste freedom once again. Their daring escape wasn't just a flight from captivity. It was a resounding declaration of their indomitable will to fight for justice and freedom. But who was Stephen Lee before his daring escape? What drove him to such lengths? Born in the heart of South Africa during the mid-20th century, Stephen Lee, also known as Stephen Francis, was not just an ordinary citizen. From a young age, he was acutely aware of the corrosive nature of apartheid, the systemic racial segregation that was tearing his nation apart. This awareness sparked a flame within him, a flame of resistance and a yearning for justice. Lee's path of activism began with his association with the African National Congress, or the ANC. This political party was a beacon of hope for many South Africans, as it fought relentlessly against the apartheid regime. By joining the ANC, Lee demonstrated his commitment to a South Africa free from racial discrimination and inequality. But his quest for justice did not stop there. Lee also became a member of the South African Communist Party, or the SACP. This affiliation was a testament to his belief in a more equitable society, where wealth and resources were shared among all, not just the privileged few. In these organizations, Lee found more than just a platform for his activism. He found comrades in arms, individuals who shared his vision of a fairer South Africa. Among these were Tim Jenkin and Alex Mumbaris, fellow activists who would later play pivotal roles in his life. Stephen Lee's life was not one of comfort or ease, it was a life shaped by his determination to challenge the oppressive apartheid regime. His affiliations with the ANC and the SACP were not mere political choices. They were acts of defiance, clear declarations that he would not be a silent witness to the injustice around him. The seeds of resistance had been sown in Stephen Lee, and soon he would come face to face with the harsh reality of apartheid. In 1978, the iron hand of the apartheid regime came crashing down on Stephen Lee. The year brought with it a chilling winter for the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa. Stephen Lee, a committed activist and a beacon of hope in the struggle against oppression, found himself ensnared by the authorities. He was not alone. Along with him, fellow activists Tim Jenkin and Alex Mumbaris were also captured, their collective voices momentarily silenced. The charges against them were as severe as they were inevitable. Accused of sabotage and resistance against the apartheid regime, the trio had become a thorn in the side of the ruling powers. 
Their activism, their passion for justice, and their unwavering commitment to equality had made them targets. The South African authorities had finally grasped the opportunity to quell their influence, to stifle their voices. But it was a miscalculation. Soon, they found themselves in the ominous confines of Pretoria Central Prison. The prison, notorious for its harsh conditions, was a place where hope was meant to perish. The cells were cramped and the air was thick with despair. It was a place designed to break the spirit, to extinguish the fire of rebellion. But the prison walls, no matter how thick, could not contain the spirit of freedom that lived within these men. The prison was not just a place of confinement, but a significant chapter in their struggle. It was here, in this seemingly hopeless place that their resolve was tested, their courage was fortified, and their determination was steeled. It was here that they learnt the true meaning of resistance, the essence of their struggle against apartheid. Stephen Lee, Tim Jenkin, and Alex Mumbaras were not just prisoners, they were prisoners of conscience, held captive for their beliefs, for their unwavering commitment to a cause greater than themselves. They were symbols of resistance, figures of defiance against a regime that stood for oppression and injustice. But even within the confines of the prison, Stephen Lee's spirit remained unbroken. The iron bars could imprison their bodies, but not their minds. Their spirit of rebellion, their thirst for justice, and their dream of a free and equal South Africa lived on. The story of their struggle was far from over. Freedom from prison did not mean the end of the struggle for Stephen Lee. Quite the contrary, his journey had only begun. Fleeing the confines of South Africa, Lee, alongside his comrades Tim Jenkin and Alex Mumbaras, sought refuge in other countries, stepping into a life of exile. But what does it mean to live in exile? For many, it might signal a retreat, a resignation to fate. However, for Lee, it was a call to arms, an opportunity to rally international support for the anti-apartheid movement. His life in exile was not one of quiet resignation, but of amplified activism. Lee did not allow geographical boundaries to confine his passion for justice. He leveraged his newfound freedom to continue the fight against apartheid, using his voice to echo the pleas of his oppressed compatriots back home. He became the voice of the voiceless, the face of the faceless, a beacon of hope amid the despair. His efforts were tireless. He spoke at gatherings, wrote to newspapers, gave interviews, and did everything in his power to ensure that the world did not forget about the plight of his people. He wanted the world to know that apartheid was not just a South African problem, but a global one, a blot on the face of humanity. In exile, Lee found new ways to resist. He used his words as his weapons, his stories as his shield. He painted vivid pictures of the horrors of apartheid, using his personal experiences to drive home the reality of the situation. His words were as potent as any physical act of defiance, resonating with people across the globe, stirring their conscience and prompting them to act. The struggle of Stephen Lee did not end with his escape from Pretoria Central Prison. It merely changed its form. From a prisoner, he became a messenger. From a local activist, he became a global advocate. His life in exile was a testament to his unwavering commitment to the cause, a testament to his resilience and indomitable spirit. Even in exile, Stephen Lee remained a beacon of resistance against apartheid. His story serves as a powerful reminder of the lengths people will go to in the pursuit of justice and freedom. Stephen Lee's escape from Pretoria Central Prison was more than just a daring feat. It was a beacon of hope, a rallying cry that resonated far beyond the confines of his cell. This audacious escape, orchestrated by Lee and his fellow activists, Tim Jenkin and Alex Mumbaras, wasn't just a bid for personal freedom. It was a symbolic act of defiance against an oppressive regime, a statement that the human spirit cannot be caged by injustice. This escape didn't just free three men, it inspired a movement, giving courage to those who were fighting and those who were yet to join the fight against apartheid. The news of their escape spread like wildfire, not only within South Africa, but also around the globe. It was a story that captured the world's attention, serving as a stark reminder of the oppressive conditions under which many South Africans lived and the lengths to which they would go to claim their freedom. But Stephen Lee's legacy extends beyond his daring prison break. After fleeing South Africa, he continued to advocate for the anti-apartheid struggle, using his newfound freedom not for personal gain, but to further the cause he had risked his life for. His continued activism, even in exile, was a testament to his unwavering commitment to justice and equality. 
Stephen Lee's story is a powerful one, not because it is unique, but because it is emblematic of a broader struggle. His life, his actions, his courage, and his resilience echo the experiences of countless others who fought against apartheid. His story is a reminder of the collective strength of those who stand up against injustice and the transformative power of solidarity. Stephen Lee's story remains a testament to the resilience and courage of those who fought against apartheid, a powerful reminder of the human spirit's indomitable will to fight injustice and oppression. His legacy continues to inspire and remind us that the fight for justice, for freedom, and for equality is a fight worth risking everything for.